Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, a little update and answering questions. A lot of people have been uh, asking me questions about um, the you know CPU speed, the fan speeds and hearing the fans or not and what causes all of this to happen. So uh, we'll actually look at one of the first things about um, CPU speed. So of course um, we talked about how the computer throttles the CPU speed. Um, your cores do not run all the time at maximum speed because if all cores in one processor would run at maximum speed, your computer would be running hot and your fans would be running at maximum speed. Some have said, well, I run my cores at maximum speed. You don't decide if you run your cores at maximum speed. The software you use will, by design, use or not the cores. Most of the software is not even made yet to use multiple cores. They use only one and that's it. And that's why often your PC runs cool. The real software that runs multiple cores, you will notice. You will notice and they are software that actually are much more demanding. For example, games. Um, now there you'll see that your fans are gonna start to really uh, run and that's where you see that your CPU is being used. That will max the CPU speed for most cores to what they are available. And that will mean probably the maximum speed your CPU is designed and displays. A lot of uh, you have been asking, is there a way to know about um, you know, fan speed and so on? Is there some utilities that give you? So there are utilities available. But what I would probably tell you to check out for most computers, they have specific utilities for specific machines. For example, here my uh, tough gaming laptop from Asus has its utility called Armory Crate. And this gives you information about the clock speed, the frequency, the usage, the memory frequency, the temperature, voltages. Uh, you have, of course, the um, information about GPU statistics and so on, uh, the usage of the, your, your storage, your memory, fan speeds and uh, revolutions per minute, RPMs, and so on. It gives you a lot of detail of all of the information of how your computer is actually running. And of course, you have different modes in many of these software. And even in Windows or on the utilities with your computer and running your PC at a specific um type turbo performance and so on you can actually make your computer run as best it can all the time when you choose that it doesn't run maximum speed all the time it is a big difference between pushing your computer to its maximum performance and actual maximum performance being used it's a very different thing some of you have said, is it normal that in certain tasks my fans might run or not? Yes, it is. Um, some have mentioned, you know, when I do Windows updates, I get uh, my fans start running. It's normal because, remember, updates come in compression form. That means that the files that they use are compressed and need to be decompressed in order to be used and actually uh, have these installed. That is, and that means that your processor is being actually used to decompress files and do all sorts of things. So there's a lot of computing being done. If you have an update in the background going on and you're doing something else, your computer is doing multiple tasks. It's normal that you might hear the fans run a little or a little more while all of this is happening at the same time. There's no problem there. Um, if your, your fans run all the time, there are a few things you need to check. First of all, you the best, the easiest thing to check for your fans running all the time is, is there a, um, a way for me to know? Is there a, um, you know, um, a, a, something that I can check for why my fans are running all the time? Well, one of the first things you'll want to do is, of course, is to check your CPU and the task manager and see what software is using the CPU the most. The other thing is going to be on um, making sure that your the vents and that the fans on your PC do, are not full of dust. This is the number one reason your fans are running all the time 
um, most of the time is after a few years, your computer becomes uh, cluttered with dust and the fans and the vents don't, the airflow isn't good. So your CPU is always running hot, uh, even without any loads. And uh, the other thing is to make sure that, you know, after a few years, sometimes the thermal paste on a CPU, all of that can uh, break down, which means that there's less heat dissipation. Um, there's also the fact that as a computer ages, software becomes heavier. And that means the heavier software will, of course, um, mean that your uh, computer will need more power to run the same software from, you know, say five years ago, for example. So this will, of course, impact uh, the uh, performance of the CPU and, of course, how much uh, processing it does. And make sure that you look at your CPU. Sometimes there are definitely in the background a um, um, a, a service that might be actually like running wild and this happens for example if there's bad code in some software so if you see something that is running at you know 80% CPU all the time it might be a bad piece of software there might be something wrong with that software maybe you could uninstall it reinstall it or install a later version of the device and once again you'll see the details of CPU usage by going to your task manager and in the performance, uh, in the, the processes tab, you can click CPU to have it by order of power. What is using the most power in my computer right now? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.